I have been doing research uh, on energy metabolism of animals and the humans, and also hibernation and the hypothermia in animals and humans. I started to collaborate with uh, several you know, universities. Peking University was the one. I was born in China, in Chongqing, during the war. And uh, when there was a dispute uh, internally between the communists and the, and the KMT, I was you know, brought up in Taiwan from a very young age and went through elementary school, high school, and the university all the way in Taiwan. So first visit was 1986 after the 49, so that's 37 years afterwards. I cried when I crossed the Yangtze River on the airplane. I cried when I was crossing the Yellow River. So, you know, brought back a lot of the uh, interesting emotions because you said, boy, finally I'm home. And, uh, you know, be able to, you know, reach the homeland again. China now will have a much stronger leadership and much more transparent leadership and perhaps for the benefit of all Chinese. I could see the happiness of the common people uh, due to you know, President Xi's policies and he's not shy to express it. He's not shy to let the world know that we are a strong country and that we deserve the recognition and the respect from everybody else. And uh, if you don't do it, I will let you know that you know you should. So I think that is a breath of fresh air and the most encouraging to you know any Chinese both in the country and outside.